I find oftentimes that understanding the griever and what they're going through is a big help in knowing what to do and how to help them out. So today, that's what we're going to be going over, the understanding the griever, what they're like, what's maybe some of the issues there. And I want to start from a Christian, Christian perspective. So oftentimes we as Christians are good at communicating some of the commands in Scripture that are uh, public, such as preaching, witnessing, evangelizing, uh, encouraging, challenging, exhorting. But the, the commands in Scripture that say comfort one another are oftentimes ignored. And I find it very helpful to go over those first in my perspective and understanding the griever. And of course, with the idea of knowing how to help the griever. And many times the first thing that needs to change for me to be able to help a griever is my perspective on them or what they're going through. Or in fact, my perspective on their hurt and the part I may have to play in doing that. And oftentimes it's not a natural thing. Our tendency is to pull back. Whenever something's difficult or seems like a challenge, the, tend the natural tendency is to pull back as, oh, there, there, I'll pray for you. Or, oh, that's really hard. I don't want to get in too, much, too involved. I don't want to commit myself there. So the natural thing to do oftentimes when it comes to potentially comforting a griever is to pull back or say very little or try to avoid it or even to avoid them. And so for us as potential even leaders in the Christian community or even in the world, that the challenge is we may have to do things outside our comfort zone, pun intended, but we might have to do what's unnatural, what's not common. I, I thought recently of an illustration of how challenging it is to do what's not natural, and it takes a little bit of time. I was at a, a fair recently with some grandkids, and junior high, high school grandkids, and then one of the booths or activities there at this fair was a guy who had rigged up a bicycle to steer opposite of what you're used to. The handlebars, his bicycle, if you steered it this way, the wheel went that way. Now, he had practiced for months ahead of time, and he was really good at it. So he would ride this bike around uh, really easy, showing it could be done. But he knew that the natural, what was normal, was to, if you lean this way, you steer that way to compensate for it, and you're trained that. And so for a dollar, one of my grandkids tried it. Oh, I, I can do that. I can, I can go opposite. You had three tries, and if you did it five feet, you got a prize. Well, he failed, all three, because it's not natural. And oftentimes, helping a, a griever may call upon parts of us that's not comfortable, not normal, not our first impression. And that's why oftentimes training, such as you're getting here, and the opportunity to learn and understand more what it's like, puts us in a, a better perspective in our awareness and our understanding.